hello everyone this is the fifth video of the fluid simulator series and this we're going to make this example with the fluid simulator for grid curve modifier we will do this for the grid as well as for the curve base grid in my previous videos i have explained how to use these fluid simulators as assets and the settings of these fluid simulators so let's get start for this we're going to use this board which is animated on this curve using this follow path constraint like this so let's add uh, the fluid simulator modifier go to the asset browser then ks tools then fluid simulator and here we have this we're going to use this object okay so let's go to the top view and then we're going to drag this into our scene so we have this uh, fluid simulator object so let's change this to a geometry node so here this is the node setup for this uh, first we're going to do this for the grid okay so let's go to this modifier panel and change this to a grid next we're going to delete unwanted uh, objects from the scene so we don't need this path also this collider and this bezier curve so we have this and next we're going to disable the these particles let me hide these time and named attributes so for the grid settings first we're going to slightly increase it is resolution so let me show you the resolution for this okay this is the resolution of the grid you can even increase further for your final render but i'm going to keep this 0 0.02 uh, because i'm recording let me disable this next we're going to also increase the size of this grid so that it cover our this boat in the initial setting we're going to change this to a fast solver because it gives nice result especially for the water trails or for water waves so we're going to use this and next we're going to slightly increase this time step so we have a fast motion for the water waves we're going to make this color conservation one so that we have a proper detail for the color and the velocity in the boundary setting we're going to use this a solid boundary for both the axis along the x-axis and the y-axis so we have to enable this and we're going to use this black color so let me delete this we don't need that so this is the node which get the velocity from the collider and here we're going to select our boat let's see in the animation we have this kind of animation of fluid for this sport so for this example we don't need the color from the object so let's disable this because we are only affecting the fluid velocity uh, with this object so we have this now let's see the velocity of the fluid let's add the name attribute node type the velocity and then we're going to add the length node vector length node because we need the magnitude of the velocity so this is the velocity of the fluid then we can slightly blur this that we have a smooth mask two iteration and 0.5 after that we're going to use this velocity to offset this grid in the z axis to create the water waves so let's add the set position node then we're going to add the vector scale node connect this to the scale then plug this to the offset now let's go to the top view and connect this to the set material okay something like this let me delete this node so now if i add a small offset in the z axis see we have these waves so if we run the animation we can see that these water waves are moving uh, this is nice but we can further improve this so let's add a node that is ks mesh fall of node these fall of nodes are freely available on my gumroad page you can download from the link which is in the video description so we're going to use the mask based on this board let's type 0.35 and 
we're going to use this mask to add the noise near to this boat okay so if we multiply this with the velocity mask we will get this kind of mask and next we're going to add the multiply node and here we're going to add the noise texture so let's add the noise texture and let me show you this so if i increase the noise see we have a uh, more details so let's type a 20 0 0 and then we're going to add that to the velocity mask so basically we are adding more turbulent near to the boat so if i add this see uh, this is without and this is with the noise so we have more uh, turbulence near the boat you can further extend this by increasing this fall of width let me type 0.5 we have more turbulent uh, beyond this uh, boat and uh, let me also rearrange these nodes so basically we have this setup we have only added these nodes after this fluid simulator uh, next we're going to store the velocity mask which is required in the material so let's add this and we're going to connect this to this so let's call this a uh, velocity mask so now let's go to the material and let's change this to a fluid material here we're going to use that so let's duplicate this one type here velocity mask so we have this velocity mask so let's add the mix rgb node connect this to this factor and then connect to the base color we have this we can also add the ramp node so here we can maybe 0.06 and we can also make this around 0.55 so this add a slight contrast uh, to this velocity mask and here for the color we can basically slightly make this uh, cyan bluish type maybe something like this let's rerun the animation so we have this kind of flow let's further improve this material let's add a green color to this base texture dark this greenish color uh, something like this and also make this roughness a uh, zero we have full reflection and for this trail i'm going to add a noise because it looks uh, smooth to me so let's add the noise and then we're going to connect this to color ramp and for the white color we're going to use this color so let's connect this to this so we can make this around 8 and also add small amount of distortion let me show you the noise one thing you can notice that this noise is moving as this board is passing through the geometry which is because our geometry is offset along the z-axis so let's add the mapping node but i want to move this noise according to the velocity of the fluid so let's add the scale node and then add the attribute node and type here velocity and we need this the vector so here if we move this vector we can see that we are basically changing the noise so let's make this around 5 and i am going to also add the contrast for this noise and now let's see this so let me disable this this is without the noise this is with the noise so if we run the animation see we have a, this beautiful trail for the this port okay if we go to this geometry node modifier so here we are using this negative velocity means this boat is pushing backward fluid. However, we can also make this one 
basically board is dragging fluid with it so if we do this we will get a different pattern So this is the trail with the positive velocity or forward velocity. So here is the comparison with the backward velocity as well as the forward velocity. Let's set this to back minus one. So this is how you can do the fluid interaction with the external object uh, for this grid case. So now let's change this to a curve based grid. First we have to select our curve which is this one or this curve. Then we're going to change this to the curve. So we have this. And this is the interaction of fluid with boat on curve based grid. But you can see that it is like a boundary here. The reason for is that we have enabled this x axis boundary because our curve is closed so we have to disable this if our curve is open then we have to enable this x axis boundary x axis boundary is basically the boundary along the length of the curve and y axis is basically perpendicular to the curve so now let's refresh this animation now we don't have that boundary so for this uh, grid you can slightly increase this resolution and also increase this radius. Now you can see that we have this kind of distortion because our grid is not perfect. The reason for is that this uh, curve has low resolution so we have to increase it is resolution to 64. See we have a nice grid. So let's run the animation. So this is how it will look for this curve base grid and this is the node setup settings of this fluid simulator and this is the offset setup to offset the grid along the z axis. Uh, for more general case you can also use the normal of the grid if your grid is not uh, along the z axis maybe in a different axis or you use a different kind of profile for the curve base grid you can use the normal of the grid. Uh, this is it about this example. If you have any query or doubt, you can ask me in the comment section or you can ask me on my Discord channel. So see you in the next video. Happy noting. Bye.